Hello, my name is Blanca Lemos, and um, this video is about the SAMR model uh, created by Ruben Puente Dura and how some of these productivity teacher apps that are commonly used in the classroom can step um, over the ladder, um, starting from substitution all the way to redefinition. Uh, most of these can be Apple apps, um, as well as computer app, uh, computer software, except for Doseri. Uh, which is only an app through um, an iOS device. So to begin, I want to start um, by discussing Doseri and how although Doseri can start at substitution level, uh, it, can, it can go up the ladder. Um, it starts at substitution uh, level when it is used as an alternative to a regular whiteboard or when students are working under math problems. So um, as an individual use, um, whiteboard is a substitution. Um, it becomes an augmentation app when it is used as a, uh, as a wireless whiteboard for the teacher, uh, where she can present wirelessly walking around the classroom taking notes um, or having the students take notes while she's not tethered to the projector. Um, it becomes a modification app when students are able to use it to create tutorial videos as, a, as such as math um, and when they can use it to present it for another class. And it becomes a redefinition um, uh, application when, when it is used to create a tutorial video that students can then post on YouTube or on their classroom website to help their classmates learn a lesson. Next is the wildly used app Edmodo. Edmodo can also start as a, de as a substitution application when used as a form of an online discussion board where students can type their responses to questions posted by the teacher by replying with a comment. Um, it becomes an augmentation application or computer software website uh, when students are able to turn in assignments wirelessly um, it becomes a modification application when students are able to submit lessons, videos, create assignments, and or, excuse me, when teachers are able to give students lessons, videos, um, have them create assignments, um, and have them critique each other's work by commenting on the website. And lastly, it becomes redefinition when the when the teacher is able to keep track of online grades through Edmodo as well as give. Uh, common core oriented tests, uh, quizzes, polls, all in one application while motivating students by having them earn badges um, and be part of an online community in a safe environment. The third one I'm going to be discussing is Google Classroom and uh, again Google Classroom can be an application on an iOS device or it could also be used with um, a computer tablet or excuse me uh, laptop or Chromebook and a um, uh, the application becomes a substitution application when it is also used as an online discussion board platform um, and students are able to comment online instead of ha instead of having a live discussion or in addition to having a live discussion. It becomes an augmentation application when students are given paperless assignments with Google Docs slides or sheets and they're able to submit their work online. Um, it becomes a modification um, application when students are given pr uh, group projects in which they are to collaborate in real time on a shared document on a slideshow or sheet um, and are able to comment on each other's work. And lastly it becomes a redefinition application when students use Google Classroom as a form of communication after school or to peer review each other's work without being in the presence of each other and are able to collaborate at a higher level. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about Nearpod. Nearpod, although a great, great um, application can definitely um, be used in uh, several levels. However, it will not get to redefinition and I'll discuss why in a second. Um, so to start with, uh, Nearpod, a great, great platform, uh, can be used or, or is a substitution application when it is used as a presentation tool where students are looking at their screen instead of the projected PowerPoint that they usually see in classrooms. 
It becomes an augmentation application when teachers make Nearpod presentations with partners where both partners are to are, are, are told to think pair and share think excuse me think pair share before they agree on an answer to an open ended question or when they take the quiz section part of the uh, presentation. And lastly, it becomes a modification application when students are divided in partners or in groups of four and are asked to answer bef before another team, so as in uh, competition, or are supposed to provide an answer, that, uh, excuse me, and are also supposed to provide um, uh, an answer that they all agree on. And the reason why I didn't think that Nearpod becomes a redefinition application is because there's no way for a Nearpod presentation to become part of a community that gets shared to a, a broader scale unless somebody gets, uh, unless specific groups of people get a code and all people have to be present. So it cannot really be published online. It cannot really be published as a forum. Um, it cannot be shared on YouTube. It cannot be shared as a video. Um, so there's very little chance for it to go out to the community or to the world. It pretty much stays in the classroom. Uh, however, it's a very powerful application. It's a very powerful platform that teachers all over the world use. So um, that pretty much concludes my video. Uh, these are some of the most commonly used uh, pieces of technology in the classroom and one that I thought was good to discuss how they move up the ladder uh, from substitution to augmentation to modification and in the case of the first three, how they move to the highest level, which is redefinition. Thank you.